Hey, hello. You're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick. A couple minute riff on IT and IT security. And machine learning. Uh, I love machine learning. It's always the buzz, right? Oh, we need to do machine learning. We need to do artificial intelligence. An interesting thing about artificial intelligence or machine learning is uh, it's kind of like monsters. You know, why don't we see any monsters? Well, because we've given them, you know, zoological names and studied them with biology, and then they're no longer interesting. So many of the things are absolutely positively fascinating if you've never seen them before, but the minute you name it and you track it, it becomes mundane as the magic is lost. And we see the same thing with artificial intelligence. A lot of the things that we are wanting artificial intelligence to do and define machine learning back in, you know, when I was growing up, the 80s and the 90s, uh, now we do, and it's no big deal, and so we no longer think it's very intelligent. Take like voice-operated systems, for example. Uh, back in uh, back in the 80s, back when Radio Shack was a thing, and back when the thing meant cool cool tech that you could play with, I was actually playing around with uh, VR chips, and it could recognize like 10 words. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It recognized 10 words, and you could plug it in a little robot base, and you could go like, forward, backward. Right? And now I, I have entire conversations where I yell into the phone with uh, my bank. It's all machine. So machine learning is always always the buzz. And one of the largest areas machine learning has succeeded at is in stopping spam. So I don't know about you guys, but spam in my box is way, way down. Even though the total number of uh, emails worldwide that consists of spam is something like 86, 87%. The amount that actually gets to our mailboxes is, you know, 0.001%. I get maybe one a month, I'd say, due to really good aggressive machine learning, which we take for granted. Now, if you remember the last time machines triumphed over mankind, uh, you may, may remember what happened. I'm talking, of course, about like the Terminator movies or any sort of post-apocalyptic scene uh, where you've got this small band of rebels who are able to defeat the machines by uh, by being unique and being sneaky and you know uh, doing things that no machine would ever do, uh, including sending John Connor back. Now, while spammers have not sent John Connor back, that I know of. I mean, if anyone knows, tweet me. Uh, well, that hasn't happened. Uh, we are seeing an interesting trend in fighting the machines from a cyber criminal perspective. The other day I was talking about uh, Russian brides, right? So Russian brides used to be like one person doing the scam, and today it's a, a business with a whole bunch of organizations and multiple uh, different uh, software packages and everything else. Here, it's the exact opposite. It used to be botnets sending out massive amounts of spam messages, uh, but those botnets, those machines, are now getting caught by other machines. So what we're doing is turning back to the human. What we're doing is creating the guerrilla warrior of the spam industry, the artisanal, handcrafted spam messages uh, is what I'm talking about. And those now are the type of messages that of course get through. We see them when they target uh, executives, and that's of course called spear phishing. Uh, we see them when these people send out you know, three, four, five, maybe a dozen different messages and then change it up. And uh, there's recently a, a spam campaign that was uncovered. Uh, that was going pretty successfully, getting through all the filters uh, out of France. And uh, this new new technique is called snowshoeing, I hear, uh, which makes no sense to me. I get spear phishing because phishing is a fish email. Um, and spear phishing is a targeted fish email. Um, I don't quite get why you'd put snowshoes on a fish. I understand it leaves a small footprint, but still, it's just the mental image is very strange to me. Uh, it's like one of those, like, uh, you know, Darwinism stickers you see in the back of vans, the fish with the feet. Add snowshoes to that. That's what I'm talking about. Snowshoeing, artisanal, handcrafted uh, spam messages that are bypassing our filters. Very interesting stuff. Key takeaway here is the better the machines get, the better the attackers get. Attackers just shift their techniques back to old tried and true uh, ways of bypassing the machine learning. It's back on us to stop them. So we'll see what goes on next. Have a good one.